टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फिल्ट्रेशन फ्रैक्शन एंड द जी एफ आर द ग्लोमिरुलर फिल्ट्रेशन रेट इज वी हैव स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग द यूरिन फॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस वी हैव डिस्कस दैट देर आर अलॉट ऑफ स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द यूरिन फॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस दे इंक्लूड द फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ब्लड एट द लेवल ऑफ ग्लोमिरुलस दैन द फिल्ट्रेट मूव थ्रू दी नेफ्रॉन टिब्यूल्स एंड द सेकंड स्टेप इज द रीअब्जॉर्बशन प्रोसेस इन विच सम ऑफ द फिल्ट्रेट इज रीअब्जॉर्ब इन टू दैरी टिब्यूलर कैपिल एंड दैन सिक्रीशन नाउ to discuss the de- the filtration process in detail or we discussed the the composition of the filtrate and we discussed that the fluid that is filtered at the level of nephrons inside the kidneys that filtered fluid is slightly different from the plasma because when plasma is filtered here the proteins cannot cross this barrier the pl- proteins cannot cross be- this barrier and cannot enter so the filter the filtrate the fluid that is filtered will not contain proteins similarly the calcium that is bound to the proteins and the fatty acid that that are bound to the proteins they will not enter into the bowman capsule or the nephron tubules similarly similarly the the plasma all the plasma that is entering the kidney will not get filtered some of the plasma it will come into the glomeru- glomerulus and it will go back and it will not get filtered because the gfr is the rate it is the glomerular filtration rate it is the speed with which the filtration is occurring but the amount or the component or the fraction of plasma that gets filtered that gets a chance to get filtered here is the filtration fraction so we are here to differentiate and de- discuss in detail these two things filtration fraction is the fraction or the portion or the component or the small amount of plasma that gets filtered here and the gfr is simply the the rate it is the rate at which it gets filtered how much plasma will get filtered how much plasma will will get filtered suppose for example this nephron is showing the 1 million or 2 million or whatever the amount of nephrons whatever the number of nephrons are present in both the kidneys this one nephron is representing all the nephrons in two kidneys and both the kidneys normally receive around 1 liter of blood 1 liter of blood which is around 20% of the blood the heart is pumping around 5 liters of blood per minute <clears throat> out of those that 5 liters 1 liter basically goes into the kidneys now in this 1 liter in this 1 liter or 1000 ml around 600 ml is plasma it is around in 1000 ml of blood there is around 600 ml in 1000 ml of blood there is 600 ml of plasma now we have to we have to determine that when this 600 ml of plasma is flowing through the kidneys when this 600 ml of plasma it is flowing through both the kidneys in one minute how much of this plasma how much how much uh, what is the amount or this the fraction of that plasma will get filtered from glomerulus into the bowman's capsule and that fraction that that component that portion of the plasma that gets filtered is the filtration fraction and the speed the rate at which it gets filtered is the gfr now we know that in the filtration process the proteins the fatty acids and the calcium will not get filtered otherwise the composition of the filtrate will be like plasma so how it gets filtered how it gets filtered it gets filtered because the renal artery keeps on dividing and at the level of nephron the afferent arteriole it basically brings the blood into the glomerulus and the glomerulus is basically like a bunch of capillaries and inside the capillaries there is high pressure of blood there is high pressure of blood and that pressure of blood is due to the hydrostatic and colloid osmotic pressure now these forces are contributing in the filtration process they are contributing in the filtration of the blood uh, the filtration process that is occurring at the bowman's capsule now these forces and apart from these forces there is another factor which is the capillary filtration coefficient which is the capillary filtration coefficient the capillary filtration coefficient in itself is dependent on two more factors one is the area the surface area the surface area which will allow filtration this area may be large or small now in the kidneys basically represent the capillary area so the capillary filtration coefficient is different in different parts of the human body it may be different in lungs it may be different in other areas but in the in the kidneys it is high its value is quite high one factor that contributes to the capillary filtration coefficient is the surface area of the capillaries because these capillaries keeps on dividing again and again so the area the surface area the the the, the surface through which the filtration can occur suppose for example filtration can occur from here 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 so this is the surface area this is one factor another is the permeability so permeability basically depends upon the pore size the pore shape and the charge of the pores these pores uh, these the size and the shape and the charge of these different pores through which the fluid will come out it basically uh, shows the permeability so permeability and surface area determine the capillary filtration coefficient or capillary filtration coefficient is the product of 
surface area of the capillaries and the permeability of the uh, capillaries and apart from that the hydrostatic and the colloid osmotic pressure these factors will de uh, determine the filtration process they will determine the filtration process if there is any change in the surface area if there is any change in the permeability if there is any change in the hydrostatic or colloid osmotic pressure the filtration process will be affected now coming to the point once the blood has started entering the kidney i am uh, talking again and again about this nephron that this single nephron is basically representing all the nephrons present in both the kidneys just to uh, just to summarize this thing so that we have an overview of how the kidneys are functioning the function of the kidney is basically at the level of nephron so we have enlarged this nephron to properly understand and we have generalized this thing that this nephron this single nephron is basically representing all the million of nephrons present in both the kidney now suppose for example blood has entered the kidney and one liter of blood is flowing through the kidney in one minute now the blood we know is made of cells and plasma 1 liter or 1000 ml of blood contains 600 ml of plasma so 600 ml of plasma will be flowing through both the kidneys in one minute but how much of this 600 ml plasma will be filtered we will determine it with the help of this equation and this equation says that the filtration fraction is gfr by plasma flow now plasma flow we have determined through different experiments is 600 ml per minute and the gfr can also be calculated through different experiments and we have its value which is around 125 ml per minute or 180 liters per, per day so filtration factor comes out to be 120 divided by 600 which is around 0 0.2 and this 0 0.2 when calculated in percentage terms it turns out to be 20 percent it turns out to be 20 percent so filtration fraction is 20 percent it means out of 100 ml plasma out of 100 ml plasma only 20 ml of plasma gets filtered here rest of the plasma will go back into this arteriole it may get a chance again like some portion of the plasma may get a chance some portion may get a chance another time some plasma some of the portion may get a chance another time but at a single uh, at a single point in a single uh, at a single point in a specific duration of time suppose for example in one minute there will be uh, only 20 percent plasma being filtered only 20 percent of the 600 ml plasma that is flowing through the kidneys will get filtered and that is the filtration fraction but the rate the speed with which it will be filtered will be 125 ml per minute and that is the gfr now there are a lot of factors which can increase the filtration fraction or decrease the filtration fraction there are a lot of factors which can increase the gfr and decrease the gfr so it is important to know the normal values because when we know the normal values we can basically detect the abnormalities and that's why these things are being discussed in detail because they are important in the urine formation process thanks a lot for watching the video